<laughs> right, hi guys. I am Mai Haika from BBC Africa Business, and today my colleague Peter Mwangangi is joining me to talk about finances. That's right, money. finances. Today we take the pulse to gauge the health of this patient. We are choosing to call your pocket or wallet or bank account or M-Pesa or wherever it is that you keep your money when you have it, including your under your mattress. My, it's pretty tough to hold on to cash nowadays. Looks like. Uh, it has grown wings. That's right. Either that or it's now performing in a disappearing act. Magic. Poof. One minute it's there, the next minute it's not there. Well, Peter, it should be quite interesting to see how people have changed in how they spend their money. Yes, indeed. Join us in this special episode from the BBC as we explore how your money has fared in these new circumstances and hopefully give you a few pointers to stay above water. Have more month left over at the end of your money, be it earning, spending, saving, or investment. We hope that we'll have you covered throughout this show. So what about you? Just how are you faring? How is it going financially? Talk to us on the BBC News Africa Facebook page. Give us your comments. Tell us what you think. I really want to hear what you guys think. Also, we have guests, each an expert in their own right. Send in your questions for them and we will sample and answer them during the show. Let's meet our guests now. Today we have two ladies. Mm. The first, Michelina Chindia. She wears many hats as an economist and fitness fanatic. She's from Zimbabwe and just may be able to get your finances fit as well. We also have Rashmi Pillai, who has extensive experience in digital financial services and impact investing. She has worked with financial regulators, private sector entities, and development partners across multiple South Asian and East African countries, and she is currently the Executive Director of Financial Sector Deepening. Yeah, to how we say, Oli Otia. And a shout out to one Diana Ngaira, who is watching us from Kampala. Where are the rest of you watching us from? Tell us, let's make you famous. That's right. Let's also take a look at some of those questions and comments that are coming in, Peter. Yes, indeed. Uh, one from Chuma Queen from South Africa says, for me, it was a blessing in disguise. I have managed to pay off my credit card with my salary. Oh my goodness, 20,000 rands. That's about 2,000 US dollars. That's a lot of savings. Or even more, yes. Wow, I would love to save that much. Um, this one is from Kalenga Chihinga from Zambia, who says, my wallet is like an onion. When I open it, it makes me cry. <laughs> and this story, uh, so many people can relate to that comment. Let's see what Jeremiah from Nigeria says. Mm -hmm. How can you spend when you have no money? Jeremiah, I feel you. I, I feel the exact same way. And the last comment on here from John Mulandi from Kenya, who says, you don't spend what you don't have. My wallet, I can't remember where I saw it last. Indeed, Maya, and you have been doing some interesting research on... Uh, consumer spending across Africa. What are you finding? That's right. Um, I've just been basically looking at how people have been spending their money and saving their money during this corona period. So I'm just going to move over to the touch screen here to give you guys what some of these insights are that I came across. So how is your wallet doing? How have your spending patterns changed during the pandemic? Well, there's a really, really interesting survey that was done by Ajua in Africa. They wanted to find out how people's spending habits have changed after the onset of COVID-19. So let's zero in in Kenya. First off, there's been a huge decline in wallet size. We're talking about 21% in April. Naturally, as a result, people are cutting down on their spending on non-essential items such as entertainment, alcoholic beverages and cigarettes due to the constraint on their wallets. Individuals are spending more on food as well as household and personal care items. The wallet share of these categories increased by 4% and 2% respectively. Now, other parts of the continent have similar experiences. Let's listen in on one experience. Inflation has gone up to 10.8%, and so a lot of the items are very expensive now. And because I'm doing a lot of online purchases, that has also shot up my budget when it comes to buying items. COVID has affected my spending pattern and actually increased my budget in a lot of the spending items. COVID-19 should go beyond six months. How will the continent, the economies of Africa, cope with the impact? 
Well, my, I think we should take this to one expert, Michelina. How can people prepare themselves financially if this goes on for the next six months or even more, Michelina? All right. Well, my biggest thing and one thing that I push for a lot is budgeting and knowing where your finances are going. You need to have a clear breakdown of what your expenses are and how much money that you're having coming in. So you can also cut down in areas of unnecessary spending. Um, as um, the, the gentleman had mentioned earlier that he's spending a lot more on food. So maybe perhaps you could then have a look at what it is exactly you're spending and what you need to use so that you can cut down in areas of unnecessary spending. Rashmi, I want to throw out this question to you. I know that you as FSD have actually conducted uh, a survey and research on how people are actually spending their money. What are some of the striking findings you've come across? Um, how do people, how have people's consumption and expenditure patterns changed? One is uh, people are definitely cutting down on essential items, but it also speaks to how resilient were their lives even before they started cutting down and making these changes. PM, we have people all over Africa watching us right now. I actually just want to do a few uh, shout outs right now. We have Adomati uh, Bonises watching from Kampala. Um, Moriasi, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, <laughs> um, from Lamu, Kenya. Yes. Vanessa uh, watching from Uganda. What do you have, PM? We have Wallace Mukawa watching from Malawi wow. and uh, Mary Frederick watching from Nigeria. Don't forget to tell us where you're watching from and we might just make you famous. So let me just go on with some of the interesting findings that I've had um, across Africa. So people are also using this opportunity, Peter, as a way to save on some hard-earned cash. Take a look at this webpage. Uh, it basically gives you 24 different ways on how you can save on home expenses during your quarantine. Peter, did you find anything interesting here in terms of what you can save on? Yes, indeed. Make your own coffee, keep your freezer full, break out that Dutch oven, throw almost spoiled veggies in the freezer. Some of these tips are actually quite practical and helpful, like making your own coffee and uh, rather than buying your own uh, coffee, growing herbs indoors, rather than spending money on spices and subscribing to services like streaming services, fitness apps, which can reduce the bills you pay. You can always go back once the wallet is in shape, uh, back in shape. Bye. Nice. I love some of those tips. I think I might just take that one for Netflix and unsubscribe for a few months while I'm in quarantine. Uh, keep those questions and comments coming. Let's take a look at some of them right now. Teddy Bato says, this Africa where the majority of us live for under $1 per day, how do we save or spend? And That's a good question. We can throw that to mm -hmm. Michelina. She spoke about this. How do you, you spoke about a budget, but how do you go about that? Uh, and uh, does it have to be a financial expert? Do I have to be a financial expert to do that? No, you don't have to be a financial expert in, in, term, in, in order to save. Rashmi, what should governments be doing now in, in terms of helping uh, people go through this period? That's a great question. And this... Um, let me just take a few more comments here um, that are coming in live from Facebook. Langton here says... Unfortunately, as we try to spend less and save more, politicians are doing the opposite. The bitter part is they are doing so with public pockets. Oh, and um, here um, uh, Asha Gray says... More than the quarantine, it is the consequences like you losing your jobs that is giving me a good lesson that you have to save more, spend less, as you don't know what will happen tomorrow. So, my, my person, do you remember at the beginning of the show when we had Teddy and he said that when he looks at his wallet, oh. it's like an onion and he <laughs> feels like crying. That is, that's the person I want to make famous But today. we really hope that after this program, you have better saving tips or even uh, spending uh, trends. Well, that's it for our Facebook Live today. A big, big thank you to our guests for joining us. And of course, you're the viewers. I am Peter Mongangi. I'm Maya Hayakov. Bye.